Did you know that the wires on high voltage transmission lines do not run the way you are used to seeing them? And this is how they twist in space, like in a rope. Why does this happen? Why is it necessary? And who even came up with this nonsense? It turns out it's all quite simple, guys. Look, if we take a cross section of a high voltage transmission line, we will see that the three phase wires are arranged in the following way either in a triangle or in a row, left, right, top, or three in a row. In this case, note that the mutual arrangement of the wires relative to each other gives different values of capacitance and inductance between the wires. The significance of this longitudinal inductance and transverse capacitance is also relative to the ground. If the wires are positioned differently, then they have different distances relative to the ground. Is that correct? The upper wire is further from the ground, resulting in lower capacitance relative to the ground. However, all these capacitances ultimately affect the reactive resistance of the entire phase. Reactive resistance affects voltage. If we do nothing and let the wires on the high voltage transmission line go to the consumer just as they came out, we will get different voltages across different phases. To prevent this from happening, transposition was devised. What is transposition? It is the spatial rearrangement of phases to ultimately achieve uniform reactive resistance across the phases. In other words, we twist them like this at an angle so that ultimately they occupy a uniform position relative to each other and to the ground along the entire length of the high voltage transmission line. It's quite simple. We need to twist them at a certain number of supports. Since we have three wires, when the length of the LED exceeds 100 kilometers, transposition is applied, and it would naturally make sense to divide the LED into three sections and to flip these wires in each third. Then each wire will traverse the entire high voltage transmission line in the same spatial positions as all the others all the wires will be twisted equally relative to each other and the earth. Everyone will have the same reactive resistance and the same voltage drop. This will achieve symmetry. But it seems that everything is clear here. What about cable lines? Recently, among high voltage cables, polyethylene insulated cables in single phase configuration have been used, where instead of one three phase cable, three single phase cables ranging from six to 500 kilovolts are bundled together. These cables have their own peculiarities. Transposition is also necessary in these cables, as they contain screens. Initially, these screens were not grounded, but current still flowed through them, causing them to heat up. To address this, the transposition of screens was devised, which you probably didn't know about. Transposition wells and transposition boxes are arranged at specific intervals, approximately every one-third of the cable line. Sleeves are installed, and a tap is made from both sides of the sleeve from the screen, and these screens are transposed with each other. That is, the screen of one conductor is connected to the screen of another conductor. Thus, designers, according to calculations, attempt to balance the currents, compensate for the currents in the screens, and minimize them. Because if this is not done, these currents are so powerful in the screens, so large, that they lead to the failure of the cable. The cable simply melts from the currents in the screens. Now you know the purpose of transposition in both overhead and cable high voltage transmission lines, Watch Energolic Bez, stay on a positive wave, be sure to leave comments, like if you wish, and happiness will come to you. Until we meet again, see you.